Class is back in session for the University of Texas. It's almost a week away until the Longhorns' first football game of the season. Brian Sanders has your morning look at sports. Well, good morning to you. First day of class on Wednesday, so the Longhorns took the day off from football, but next week's opener can't come soon enough for the team, most especially for senior tight end Blaine Irby, who has fought his way back from a devastating injury. Early his sophomore year in 2008, he was tackled low, trying to make a catch against Rice, shattered his knee, and left him with an improbable road to recovery. He was carted off for immediate care, had significant nerve damage in his lower leg, and told he had a 2% chance to just run again, much less see the field. But after intense rehabilitation over the last three years, regaining his physical and mental strength, he's been cleared for full contact and full speed. Coaches and players were nervous at first, but now use his courage as inspiration. The Red Sea would part whenever you know, whenever Irby would get the ball and or he would turn up field with it, whatever, everybody would stay away or nobody would go up to contend the ball with him. But, I mean, we've seen him play in two scrimmages now and just that same violent runner and competitor that Blaine's always been, you know, we saw it. I mean, it's just amazing to watch. And, I mean, that's why we do this. That's why I think all of us coaches be, is because we get to see these kind of miracle stories and see guys and see how tough and just see like their resolve, you know, and so uh, it was just awesome to see. You know, it's been a long process. It's been a, a really long road, but um, I'm excited to go out there. I'm excited to get that little, that feeling back, you know, uh, the pregame feeling of nervousness. You know, I miss that and um, running out of the tunnel and uh, just being in front of all the fans. Hasn't cut his hair since he heard the news. Oddly enough, Rice will be the opponent again. UT men's basketball has added another to their incoming class. Six foot six forward Jalen Bond from Philadelphia has signed his scholarship agreement after decommitting from Pitt. That gives Rick Barnes six freshmen this year after losing two seniors and three underclassmen to the NBA draft. With your look at sports, I'm Brian Sanders for KXAN News Today.